Ernie Hudson, uh, the actor who played Winston Zedmore in both films, he was on an interview show and he said that he was just dumbfounded that it had kept popular so long. And the first film came out five years ago and he said it was really amazing that it had lasted as long as it did and that's the way I feel. My name is Alex Newborn and I'm part of the Alabama Ghostbusters franchise. Um, I live in Florence, Alabama, so I, I frequently pair up with the Florence Ghostbusters, uh, which is primarily uh, Brandon Ballantyne and his uh, 1967 Pontiac Ectomobile. A ghost head to me, all right, here's the way I look at it. Someone that has, has viewed the movie and enjoyed it so much that they want to bring it to reality. They saw it, they laughed, they felt better for two hours and it left an impact on them. And they want to take the trappings of that world, the, the, the flight suit, the backpack, whatever, bring it into our world, and then go out in public and be seen in that garb and bring that same feeling to other people. Some of the fans, like me, will go on a pilgrimage and go to the sites where the movie was actually filmed in New York City and, and different locations. And so it is about making that that fictional reality a, a concrete reality, a tangible reality, and then extending it and giving it to other people and seeing the smile on their face and making their life better for two hours or 20 minutes or, or whatever amount of time that it is. Out of the blue, my youngest will say, I love you. I say, okay, why? And he'll say, because you're the best Ghostbuster dad in the world. My oldest son has this wonderful, outgoing, charismatic personality that sees him through a lot of his cerebral palsy issues. A couple of years ago, we were at a local Chinese restaurant, and there's these two girls at a nearby table, and they start calling out, Orion, hey, hey, Orion. And so I heard one of them say, he's a Ghostbuster. He dresses up like a Ghostbuster. I'm like, how do these girls even know what Ghostbusters is? And so as we're leaving again, she's like, bye, Orion. And we step outside and I'm like, Orion, who were those girls? And he goes, I have no idea. 